Hi there, Chestnut Class. As promised, I have got the actions for the talk for writing story, How the World Was Made, for you. It's based on seven days, so a whole week. Um, nothing religious at all, but just a really, really lovely story. And it's very easy to sequence. And it's really lovely because as we go on through this talk for writing unit, you're going to be creating your own world, uh, which is great. So this week, you're just going to focus on this first world. So here we go. Once upon a time, there was no sun, no moon, and no stars. There was only darkness. On the first day of the week, the piper began to bang his great brass drum like thunder beating, and the mountains appeared one by one. On the second day of the week, the piper began to play his flute like songbirds singing and the rivers flowed down the hills and into the sea. On the third day of the week, the piper began to bang his silver cymbals like storm waves clashing and the forests appeared flowing like rivers across the land. On the fourth day of the week, the piper began to play his violin like the wind singing in the trees and grasses grew and swept like waves across the earth. On the fifth day of the week, the piper began to strum his guitar like the rhythm of the rain and with each note, a new creature appeared. On the sixth day of the week, the piper began to click his castanets like bony fingers snapping and man and woman grew. On the last day of the week, the piper began to sing like a thousand choirs and as he sang, the sun, the moon and the stars appeared one by one and in the great open skies. So if you want to change any of the actions, remembering that once upon a time is that, that's absolutely fine. You can teach your siblings if you have them. You can teach your mum, your dad, your dog, your cat, your goldfish. Keep practicing, see if you can remember the story off by heart. And please, if you have got any videos of you doing it or a picture, please just send me bits of your work because I'd really love to see how you're getting on and I'll obviously give you some feedback on that too. Um, I just would really love to see how you're doing. I will really miss all of you very much. So let's keep in touch. And parents, please do email the 